Welcome to Sattu Career 2.0 online nursing channel. In this video, we are going to discuss previous questions from RRB and MRB nursing officer exams. Before going to see these questions, please subscribe to our channel to get the latest notification about new videos. Please click the bell icon. Here we are going to discuss 50 questions. Let's see the first question of the day. Question number one. Nurse Reshma teaches the patient with syphilis how to prevent reinfection and further spread is an example of A. Primordial prevention B. Primary prevention C. Secondary prevention D. Tertiary prevention The right answer Option C. Secondary prevention Secondary prevention targets the reduction of disease prevalence and disease morbidity through early diagnosis and treatment. It is a rational. Question number two. In extracellular fluid, the major electrolytes are option A, chloride and potassium, option B, phosphate and potassium, option C, sodium and chloride option d sodium and phosphate the right answer option c sodium and chloride question number three as parkinsonism progress and complication develops which of the following nursing diagnosis is appropriate option a dysreflexia Option B, impact physical mobility. Option C, hypothermia. Option D, impact detection. The right answer. Option B, impact physical mobility. Parkinsonism disease clients will develop shuffling gait, rigidity, which causes physical mobility impairment. Question number 4. The primary belief of psychiatric nursing is Option A. Human needs are individuals to each person. Option B. Every person is worthy, dignity and respect. Option C. Most people have the potential to change and grow. Option D. Some behaviors have no meaning and cannot be understood. The right answer. Option B. Every person is of the dignity and respect. One of the important principles of psychiatric nursing here. Each person has their own dignity. Every people have their own respect and they are having their worth towards their life. Question number 5. Overdose of acetaminophen can precipitate life-threatening abnormalities in which of the following organs? Option A. Lungs. B. Liver. C. Kidneys. D. Adrenal glands. The right answer. Option B. Liver. Acetaminophen commonly called as paracetamol is extensively metabolized in the liver. Prolonged use of acetaminophen leads to renal dysfunction. Single overdose does not precipitate life-threatening problems in respiratory system, renal and adrenal glands. Question number 6. A. Cyclovir is the drug of choice for option A HIV B cytomegalovirus option C influenza A virus and varicella zoster virus option D adrenal glands A cyclovir is the drug of choice for the right answer is option C influenza A virus and varicella joster virus so in specific treatment of herpes virus infection 
there is no cure for herpes. Acyclovir is excreted and changed in the urine and therefore must be used cautiously in the presence of renal impairment. Question number 7. A patient complains of dizziness and nausea. Her pulse is also rapid and she is hyperventilating. Identify which level of anxiety she encounters. Option A, mild. B, moderate. C, severe. And D, panic. So this signs and symptom indicates the patient is having severe anxiety. Patient with severe anxiety can't solve problems, can't understand what happens in her environment. All somatic complaints as mentioned above all will be present along with there will be vital sign changes in case of severe anxiety. When client is having mild anxiety, there is no changes in vital signs. In case of moderate anxiety, client can understand what is happening in the surrounding environment. Patient with panic anxiety might lose touch with reality. So according to the symptoms presented here, the patient would have severe anxiety. Move on to next question. The contraception method listed below is able to reduce the transmission of HIV and other STI, sexually transmitted infections. Option A, Norplant. B, intrauterine device. Option C, oral contraceptives. D, vaginal sponge. So, the right answer. Vaginal sponge is the barrier method of contraception that when used with foam jelly contraception reduces the transmission of HIV and other sexual transmitted diseases. It also reduces the risk of pregnancies. Whereas IUDs, nor plants and oral contraceptives can prevent pregnancy but not the transmission of HIV and sexually transmitted disease. So option D is right. Question number 9. Which fetal heart monitor pattern can indicate heart compression? Option A. Variable decelerations. Option B. Early decelerations. Option C. Bradycardia. And D. Tachycardia. The right answer. Option A, variable decelerations can be related to cord compressions. The other patterns are not indicating the cord compressions. Question number 10. The nurse teaching about preventable diseases should emphasize the importance of getting the following vaccines. Option A, measles human papilloma virus, genital herbs, option B, pneumonia, HIV, mumps, option C, syphilis, gonorrhea, pneumonia, option D, polio, pertussis, measles. The right answer, option D, polio, pertussis, measles. Vaccines are one of the most effective methods of preventing and controlling certain communicable diseases. Smallpox is not in the currently world. Diseases such as polio, diphtheria, pertussis and measles are mostly controlled by routine childhood immunization. So the right option is option D. Question number 11. Which of the following condition in mammography is used to detect? Option A. Tumor. B. Edema. C. Pain. D. Epilepsy. 
the right answer is option A, tumor. Mammography is used to diagnose early stages of breast cancer. Question number 12. When the nurse is determining the appropriate size of an oropharyngeal airway to insert, what part of a client's body should she measure? Option A. Corner of the mouth to the tragus of the ear. Option B. Corner of the eye to the top of the ear. Option C. Tip of the chin to the sternum. Option D. Tip of the nose to the earlobe. So in oropharynx, the nurse measures the tube from corner of the mouth to the tragus of the ear. Question number 13. In high ammonia level, this must, sorry, this most important sign anticipated by a student nurse is option A, edema, B, hypoxia, C, polyuria, D, coma. When there is excess amount of ammonia level, the nurse should, student nurse should anticipate for coma in patient. Question number 14. What the following parameter denotes? pH of 7.38, partial pressure of oxygen is 78 millimeter of mercury, partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 36 millimeter of mercury and uh, bicarbonate level of 24 milli equivalent per liter. Option A, metabolic alkalosis. Option B, respiratory acidosis. Option C, respiratory alkalosis. Option D, homeostasis. The right answer, homeostasis, when all the parameters are in the normal range. Question number 15. Sex education in children is best rendered by A. School nurse B. Media C. Parents D. Friends The right answer. Parents can give very effective sex education in children. School nurse can give informal education related to sex and counseling also can be done. Friends in adolescent, the friends give the sexual education, but sometimes it may not be proper. Whereas media is the most powerful tool for giving sex education in forms of movies, in forms of various other programs. Question number 16. Which of the following is not a function of a digestive tract? Option A, the use of to use enzymes to break down food. Option B, to perform gas exchange. Option C, to remove waste from the body. Option D, to use peristalsis to move food along. The right answer, to perform gas exchange is not the function of your digestive tract. It involves respiration process. Question number 17. The primary response of medulla oblongata is option A, intellectual function, B, balance coordination, option C, regulation of vital functions, option D, sensory transmission. The correct answer, regulation of vital functions like respiration is one of the important role of medulla oblongata. Question number 18. The spinal cord reaches from the base of the skull to the first or second lumbar vertebra. The base of the skull is also known as option A, foramen magnum, B, cerebellum, C, filaments, D, corpus callosum. The right answer, foramen magnum is also known as the base of the skull. Question number 19. The pectoralis major muscle is located in which area? Option A, the chest. B, the back. C, the feet. D, the buttocks. 
the correct answer the chest where one of the muscle in the chest is called pectoralis major question number 19 a woman's body usually ovulates around what day in a normal day cycle option a day 5 b day 10 c day 14 and d day 22 so in a normal day the of 30 day cycle the women will ovulate on 14th day so if your normal cycle is for 30 days then the women ovulates in 14th day question number 20 the orthopedic surgeon informs you that you have broken the end of your femur which or he is describing which part he is describing option a epiphysis b diaphysis c shaft d bone matrix the right answer is option a epiphysis the both corner of the long bones are called as epiphysis question number 21 the swine flu virus is denoted by H1N5, B, N1, H2, C, H1N1, D, N5, H1. The right answer, swine flu virus is denoted by H1N1. Question number 22, Thomas Cup is associated with A, badminton, B, lawn tennis, C, table tennis, D, billiards. The right answer, International Badminton Tournament is Thomas Cup. Question number 23. One of the digestive juices that lacks enzymes but aids in digestion is A. Bile B. Succus antericus C. Chyme D. Chyme The right answer. Bile is the digestive juice which does not have any enzymes but it helps in digestive process. 24. Parambikulam dam has been an issue of dispute between option A Karnataka and Kerala, B Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka, C Tamil Nadu and Kerala, D Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. This dam Parambikulam is the dispute between Tamil Nadu and Kerala state. Question number 25. Which of the following pollutes the air of big cities? Option A. Copper B. Lead C. Chromium D. Copper Oxide So most of the metropolitan cities are getting polluted by lead from automobile vehicles. Question number 26. In human body, the ratio of red blood corpuscles and white blood corpuscles is A. 300 is to 1 B. 400 is to 1 C. 500 is to 1 D. 600 is to 1 The right answer Option D. 600 is to 1 Question number 27. Dronacharya award is presented to option A. Sports coach B. Chess champion C. Hockey players D. Cricket players Dronacharya award is given for sports coach. Question number 28. For the implantation of ovum in the ovaries the hormone produced is option A oxytocin, B prolactin, C progesterone, D none of this. The right answer progesterone. Question number 29. From the given choices, select the one which can be formed by using the letters of the given word measurement. Option A, Monster, B, Sumit, Option C, Assure, Option D, Mantle. 
from the word measurement which word you can form from this four the right answer is for option a master can be derived from the word measurement question number 30 parliamentary elections in india were not held in option a 1996 b 1997 c 1998 d 1999 we all know the parliamentary elections will held in india every five year once but in the years 1996 1998 1999 parliamentary elections held in india in 1997 there was no parliamentary election in these three years bjp government won the election in the leader of atal bihari watch by question number 31 x told y it is true that i am your real brother but you are not my sister how would y be possibly related to x option a cousin b friend c brother d cannot be determined so very simple question here the relation is brother question number 32 the session of parliament will held minimum how many times in a year option a twice b thrice c once d four times so usually the parliament should held at least three times but a minimum it can be held for twice question number 33 the highest peak of south india is option a anemudi b totabeta c amar kattak c mahendragiri the right answer the highest peak of south india is anemudi hills question number 34 at kelvin scale the normal temperature of human body is option a 290 b 310 c 300 d 30 the kelvin scale the normal human temperature which is equal to 30.38.6 is 310 question number 35 choose the odd one in the following 9 7 5 3 the odd number here is 9 because it can be divisible whereas other numbers cannot be divisible with any other numbers question number 36 pitty and organic soils are founding option a telangana b andhra pradesh c maharashtra d sorry c kerala d maharashtra the right answer is Actually, Maharashtra is not the option. The option is Tamil Nadu. So, option D, Tamil Nadu, where PT and organic soils are seen abundantly. Question number 36. Which of the following river do not flow into the Bay of Bengal? Option A, Mahanadi, B, Tapti, C, Godavari, D, Krishna. The right answer. Option B, Tati river which is flowing via Surat in Gujarat and it goes to Arabian Sea. All other rivers are going to Bay of Bengal. Question number 37. Which of the following does not touch the boundary of Myanmar? Option A. Arunachal Pradesh. B. Nagaland. C. Tripura. D. Manipur. The right answer option c tripura does not share its boundary with myanmar instead of tripura meghalaya is the another state which is sharing the boundary with myanmar question number 38 magellan strait is located between option a china and japan b the south end of south america c pacific and south atlantic ocean option d the south end of africa the right answer 
The Magellan Strait, the canal, runs between Pacific and South Atlantic Ocean in South America near Chile country. Question number 39. What is zero hour? Option A. When the parliament discusses the proposals of the opposition. Option B. Time of recess. Option C. When the parliament discusses important issues. Option D. None of this. The right answer is Option C. When the parliament discusses important issues, the time is called as zero hour. Question number 40. National Stock Exchange is located in A. Mumbai, B. Chennai, C. Delhi, D. Kolkata. So, the financial capital of India is Mumbai, where National Stock Exchange is located. Bombay Stock Exchange is also located in Mumbai only. Question number 41. The first Grand Slam tennis tournament of the year is Wimbledon, B. French Open, C. US Open, D. Australian Open. The right answer is option C, sorry, option D, Australian Open, which held in every year January, is the first Grand Slam tennis tournament. Question number 42. Mira Bai Chanu won the Rajiv Kail Ratna Award 2019. Along with her, who won the same award? Option A, Sardar Singh, B, Virat Kohli, C, Sanya Mirza, D, P. V. Sindhu. So, in the year 2019, Rajiv Gandhi Kail Ratna Award won by Mirabai Chanu and option B, Virat Kohli. Question number 43. An appropriate intervention for the client with suspected genitourinary trauma and visible blood at the ureteral meatus is Option A. Insertion of a Foley catheter Option B. In and out catheter specimen for urine analysis Option C. A voided urine specimen for urine analysis and D. Consult a urologist The right answer Option D, consult a uro, urologist. So, when there is blood in the meatus, the uh, first two options are contraindicated. We cannot do. Option C, a voided urine specimen for urinalysis can be done under the prescription of urologist. So, option D is right. Question number 44. To remove hot contact lenses from the unresponsive client. The nurse should option A gently irrigate the eye with an irrigating solution from an inner canthus outward. Option B grasp the lens with a gentle pinching motion. Option C use sterile gloves before attempting the procedure. Option D ensure that the lens is can center on the cornea before gently manipulating to the lids to release the lens. The right answer is option D. So when you remove the contact lens from the unresponsive client, give pressure in the upper and lower eyelids, then the lens will come to the cornea then you can able to remove it. When the lens is in the sclera, we cannot remove the lens. It can be causing injury. Question number 45. The female perineum should be cleansed. Option A with the soap. Option B with a disinfectant. Option C from back to front. Option D from front to back. While giving perineal care, how we cleanse the female perineal? We clean from option D, from front to back. So clean it from inner thigh to the labia majora. 
and when you clean labia minora give downward strokes use different sponges to clean for different areas question number 46 contracture is caused by option a chronic lack of exercises option b loss of memory about exercise option c localized pressure on the muscles option d excessive aerobic exercises so contractures usually caused by the um, when we are not doing any exercises that time muscle stiffening will happen that leads to contraction question number 47 the patient who has suffered from the stroke usually option a speak slowly option b is able to do their own care option c has one-sided paralysis option d recovers completely in few days the right answer is they have one-sided paralysis hemiplegia question number 48 making sure that the client participates in a normal activities of daily living such as getting dressed brushing the hair and eating is yes. option a a necessary part of the care plan option b done when the nurse aide has time option c a violation of client's rights option d the responsibilities of a client family so the right answer is option a it is a necessary part of the care plan question number 49 before giving a back rub the bottle of lotion can be placed in a basin of hot water for several minutes so that option a the lotion will be easier to apply option b the bottle is sanitary option c the lotion will relieve itching option d the lotion will not be cold the reason option d the lotion will not be cold so when you apply the lotion if you directly apply the cold lotion that may cause discomfort for the client who is receiving back rub. so gently heat the warm not heat it is warm the lotion and you apply it on the patient body question number 50 when a patient is receiving a ng tube feeding what should the nursing assistant do option a report any signs and signs and signs of choking or vomiting immediately option b keep the head of the bed flat option c provide no mouth care until it is removed option d all of the above the right answer option a so during the ng tube feeding if the patient is choking or vomiting it should be reported immediately whereas other two actions are not uh, significant according to this question so the 50 questions we have discussed here now the subscriber challenge question Please write this answer in your comment box. Which of the following planets has been named after the Roman goddess of love? Option A, Mars, B, Venus, C, Jupiter, D, Saturn. Find the right answer and give that answer in the comment box below. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to Sato Career 2.0 online nursing channel if you have still not yet subscribed and please comment about this video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.